Mississippi, over into Missouri, state of Missouri. Passing through a little town here in southern Missouri. When I was real little, this is where we lived. My folks had a farm outside of town. This old Carter County Courthouse. And I remember as a kid, they come into town, and on Saturdays, almost everybody came into town to do their shopping. And, and the kids were allowed to go play in this courthouse square. There's a little fence around it. As long as we didn't leave the square, we were okay. And I'm gonna pull on down here. There used to be a bridge right down here. And uh, they built a new bridge now. The old bridge is gone. But I told a story one time on YouTube about when I was a kid and my folks had a little produce business and they'd set up at the end of the bridge. I found a picture of that bridge on the internet. And anyway, their little business was across the river there. This is the current river. And the bridge would have been right over our head. Where I'm at now. And... Uh, And there's a little spot right out in the river, right about there. That's where I was baptized when I was a little boy. Because I remember being under the shadow of that big bridge. That's the new bridge over there. New to me, anyway. Anyway, just a little bit of tidbit of information. A lot of memories around here. I'm looking straight ahead right there where the old bridge... Uh, the entrance to the old bridge would have been uh, where I told it, told about my folks selling uh, oranges, apples, nuts, pecans, whatever in the winter time, Christmas time, and play music and uh, a little fire going. And their little setup would have been right there to the left. And there's a pull over there, and there's an old building there that was abandoned then. It's abandoned now, but that's where people could park, and uh, this was the main entrance in the town at the time. So that's where they had their little business. When I was about five years old, we won't talk about how long ago that was. It was a while. The rock building here, look, the front of it's been closed, enclosed. It's been made into a home, but that rock building up until I was in the sixth grade or fifth grade, sixth grade, that's where I went to school. And uh, got this little country community. I'm I'm off the beaten path. I'm way out in the woods here in southern Missouri. I'm um, miles north uh, northwest of a little town called Van Buren. But this is where we lived when I was kids. Oh, I missed the little shack still here. If I can get it. That little building there was the cookhouse. My mom was a cook at school, and uh, you used to, kids all had to line up and walk through the pump house. Somebody hand out towels, and everybody washed their hands, and they marched down, sing file down to the little cookhouse there. And there was like a picnic table set up in there, and, and uh, that's where we had our lunch. And we had our hot lunch at that was a little cookhouse. We used to walk to the mailbox down here. Our mailbox sat down here, and it was. Uh, my mom would send me to the mailbox with a letter and a nickel, and uh, that would do the job, you know. It didn't cost a lot. But this is where we lived, back down this little country road. And there was a lot of little kids in this community out here that uh, weren't going to church, and my dad didn't think that was, uh, thought they ought to have an opportunity. So, you know, when I was about six years old, he dedicated an acre of his ground um, and built this little church house right here. Him and some other guys in the community. And they would, uh, he would go around, uh, around the community on Sunday morning with his old pickup and all the little kids that wanted to would pile in the back and he'd haul them all to this little church and, and they, they'd have an opportunity to go to Sunday school. So it's fallen down and I don't even look inside anymore, but the people that uh, bought the place, they wound up storing hay, bales of hay in there, I guess. But anyway, just some more memories. That's the little country church. It seemed so big back then.
neat little building there. I remember when that was a gas station. They built a lot with rocks around this part of the country. Well, there's the hills where I grew up. Been across this road a little bit earlier in the year and you'd come back for the big dose of seed kicks, jiggers, everything else you can crawl on bite you. Right there is the little house that I lived in until I was 17, 18 years old. That old shack back there used to sit down here close to the road and that was the garage. That's all we had for a garage. That's where I did all my work on my cars when I was 15, 16 years old. Mostly out in the dirt. Anyway, that's the old homestead there. <laughs> used to be a white house. But the folks that bought it have uh, taken pretty good care of it. See, they've added a porch on the side over there, and they made a nice little home out of it. Glad to see it's still standing anyway. I used to walk up this dirt road about three quarters of a mile to catch the school bus. But we won't get out the cry towel. <laughs> it was fun. I'm down here at my friend's house in uh, outside of Springfield, Missouri in Republic. We got a beautiful backyard here. I've done this water feature, fire pit. I just spotted a squirrel right out here drinking out of the stream and of course I scared him when I walked out but I've seen a lot of cardinals I really miss that from living in this area growing up in this area There's a little uh, all the all the birds they have is much different than in Washington state our birds out there in eastern Washington are pretty boring in the winter time and they got these little girls a little pair of these guys noisy little critters pretty little girls you know 